Today, we will show you how to set up and use a default tray on HP OfficeJet Pro 8730 that has an optional tray to installed. In order to show which tray that the printer is picking up from, we have pre-printed some pages with tray 1 indicated and tray 2 and put them into the respective trays. And this is the target that will be used for copying. We're going to place it into the scan glass. Now let us start a copy job. and go to settings for the tray selection we will select it as tray 2 now let's start a black copy job So this is indeed, it is printed from tray 2. Let's go back to home. Now, assume that we want to do a copy job again. And we start a black copy job. You will see now that the printer has picked from tray 1. So how do we set tray 2 as default permanently if you want it to be the default tray for copy? Let us show you how. In order to set up and use a default tray permanently for your copy, scroll down and tap on settings. Scroll up until you see Tray and Paper Management. Go to Default Tray. You will see that the default tray is set as Tray 1. Let us set it as Tray 2. You need to ensure that the tray lock is set to None. There are three settings here. Make sure it is set to None. Next, go to Tray Management. And these are the three tray management options that you can have. Copy, Fax Printing or USB Printing. So for Copy, if you want it to use as a default tray, which is Tray 2, you need to tap on Default Tray. And thereafter, all your copy jobs will by default picked from tray 2. Once that is done, go back to home and do a copy document. Start the black copy job. You will see that now the copy job has been picked from tray 2, which is what the default tray that you have set up for copy. So this is how you set up and use a default tray on the HP OfficeJet Pro 8730 with an optional tray installed.